Finance charge terms are used to specify how and when finance charge memos should be created. We need to set up a code that represents each finance charge calculation and assign them to our customers. So to do this, we can go to the finance charge terms page. Here we can create a new entry by hitting new or simply going to the next available line. Our fields to fill in include our code, which is the unique identifier, the description, which is there for us to elaborate. We have the interest calculation uh, field, which we use to specify which entries will be used in calculating interest on finance charge memos. The options available to us here include open entries, closed entries, and or all entries. The interest calculation method is where we specify what method we'll use to calculate interest for this particular finance charge term. The options available here are between average daily balance, uh, which considers how many days the payment is overdue for open entries or how many days it is overdue when closed entries are paid. And the balance due method uh, where the finance charges are a percentage of the overdue amount. After this, we have our interest rate, which specifies the percentage charged for this particular finance charge term. We have the interest period, which is the number of days related to the interest date. Looking at the line I have selected, this would be 1.5% for 30 days. Alternatively, you could have an interest period of 360 days at 18%. Uh, or anything in between that, depending on how you're looking to charge your interest rates and periods. We have the minimum amount, which is our minimum interest charge specified in our company's local currency. We have the additional fee field. If we want to add an additional fee in our local currency, we can also specify additional fees for foreign currencies by going to uh, more options up here to show us the navigate. And from navigate, we go terms and currencies. And here we can specify uh, which currency we're dealing with and its specific additional fee value in that currency. When we create a finance charge in a foreign currency, anything we've set up here will be used. And if nothing has been set up for that foreign currency, then the local currency value here will be used and converted to the relevant currency. We also have our grace period field. This is the number of days that the customer ledger entry can remain unapplied before the finance charge memo is considered. The first memo is created if the document date on the finance charge memo header is after the due date of the customer ledger entry plus the grace period. Much like reminders, the next charge memo will be issued if the document date on the header of the charge memo is after the due date of the previous finance charge memo plus the grace period. We next have our due date calculation, which is a date formula we specify here used to calculate the due date. This due date is calculated based on the document date. Our line description, uh, we can enter a description that will be entered on the description field of the finance charge memos lines. We can also make use of parameters here to pull through variable data. And we have our detailed lines descriptions, which operates in a similar way. We have the post interest field, which when selected, interest listed on finance charge memos will be posted to the GL and relevant customer accounts when we issue the memo. The interest becomes an open customer ledger entry. This ledger entry can have its own finance charge memos generated for interest to be calculated on the top of that if this entry becomes overdue. The GL account used for this is based on what has been populated in the interest account field on the customer posting group. For reference, I'll show you where that is. We need to show all accounts. And if we just scroll a little bit over to the right, we have our interest account here. We also have the additional fee accounts and additional fee per line accounts, which are relevant for the next two fields that we have, which is the post additional fee field. This operates in exactly the same way as the post interest field, only making use of the additional fee account field on the customer posting groups, as opposed to the interest account and the additional line fee interest, which is used to specify any additional fees that are included in the interest calculation. 
So with this setup, we can also look at setting up beginning and ending text for each term that we create. We can specify text uh, that will be printed on generated memos for uh, that come before or after the entries. And to get to there, we can just go navigate terms and we have our beginning and ending text options. If I click into ending text, you can see that we have uh, some one line set up. Please pay the total seven uh, of percent seven, which is a variable that uh, relates to an amount. We can enter as many lines as we wish as well for this ending text. And as I mentioned, that will be added after the finance charge memo lines. These lines can also include many different predefined text variables. Uh, please consult your reading manual or your consultant for more information on what these variables can be.